Hi, I'm Genio, and my lab studies the basic mechanisms of RNA processing and how RNA processing defects lead to human diseases. The accessible nature of DNA targeting with the CRISPR-Cas9 systems is supporting a revolution in genome engineering. In this study, we set out to develop a similarly flexible approach for recognition of RNA and repurpose the CRISPR-Cas system to track RNA in living cells. Future applications of RNA targeting Cas9 or RCAS9 will enable measurements or alterations of other features of RNA processing on endogenous RNA substrates. Next, we'll discuss the why and how of RNA tracking with RNA targeting Cas9. You are a collection of cells. These cells form tissues and organs like the heart and brain that have dramatically different functions, yet all of these cells, for the most part, have the same DNA. So what makes a heart cell different from a brain cell? The portions of the genome that are active produce RNA, which codes for protein, and the RNA content of a cell can distinguish healthy versus diseased cells or even closely related cell types. Cells are very careful about how they produce RNA, and RNA is subjected to a variety of processing steps including transport of the RNA to specific places in the cell, control turnover or destruction of RNAs, and eventual translation of the RNA into protein. Problems with many of these steps can cause diseases ranging from cancer to a variety of brain diseases. The first step towards curing a disease is understanding it, and so a way to recognize specific RNAs and alter or measure their features would be really useful to researchers interested in curing these diseases. When it comes to DNA, there's a quick and easy way to recognize DNA molecules using a system called CRISPR-Cas9. After recognizing a short DNA sequence called the PAM, Cas9 protein and a molecule called a single guide RNA can bind specific DNA sequences so that the DNA can be altered, measured, or manipulated to better understand the genome. This approach is more accessible than previous ways to target DNA, and a similarly accessible way to target RNA in live cells would be a boon to researchers studying a variety of conditions. The Dedna lab developed a way to target RNA in vitro, that means outside of cells, using a PAM sequence that is placed on a short piece of DNA that can stick to a targeted RNA. This DNA fragment is called the PAMMER. We adapted this approach to target RNA in living cells using Cas9 fused to a fluorescent protein, like GFP. Using this approach, we were able to track the localization of RNAs in the cytoplasm of living cells. One way cells protect themselves from damage due to heat, viral infection, or oxidative damage is to send non-essential RNAs to structures called stress granules. Stress granules are also linked to degenerative diseases of the brain, so a tool to track RNA movement to these structures would be useful to investigate their importance in disease. Motivated by this, we tracked the movement of RNA to these structures using RNA targeting Cas9. Beyond tracking RNA localization in live cells, RNA targeting Cas9 could be used to measure or alter other features of RNA processing, including splicing, localization, capping, translation, turnover, editing, or covalent modification of RNA.